Welcome back boys. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to install a new prop shaft seal. Now, typically, if you work on uh, any type of V-drive, ski boat, anything like that, it's going to have this kind of seal, which is ancient. This has been around forever, and really it's just plumbing fit-ins that people have made to work as a prop seal. The problem is the ropes go bad, and then they start leaking, which is the problem that the owner was having with this boat, which is a really sweet boat. It is a, it's like a 2000 Moomba. But the whole thing is chameleon. Uh, I wish it was nice out to get better photos, but that's not going to happen because it's winter. There will be a link down in the description if you want to buy one of these yourself. But yeah, let's get to the install. This is just one of the old rope seals. And you could repack this, but at this point, this rubber is all deteriorated. So you'd be, need to be replacing the whole thing. What we're going to be doing instead is using a newer thing. This is a flex gland seal from OJ Props. They come in a bunch of different diameters. First thing you have to do though, is disconnect this coupler right here. So I got all this apart and I can slide the prop shaft back, but I actually slid it forward because what I'm noticing right now is that this engine is not aligned to the prop shaft. So we're gonna have to adjust the engine mounts on this thing. There's two in front and two in back until the spacing is pretty much even around the drive shaft to this collar here. All right, we're gonna skip ahead a little bit. I removed the cotter pin and the castle nut from the coupler. In order to do that, uh, kind of just had to use a side cutters and a hammer and try to hammer the cotter pin out. Then I had Sarah go underneath the boat. You can see we got a lot of clearance back there. She used a two by four to prevent the prop from spinning. And then I put a socket on it and back that off. So now we are at the point where we can use my very nicely made coupler puller. Now this is just some scrap metal that I did a beautiful job welding a nut to. We have this super professional coupler puller mounted up here. We are going to hit this with a torch to try to get it to expand slightly. Then we're gonna throw a wrench on here and start smacking it with <laughs> My shitty weld broke. God damn it. All right, it's been a couple days. Uh, I suck at welding, so I found a local guy. Austin, thank you for helping me out. Here's a link to his Instagram. Super cool dude, into sleds. And he threw a big fatty bead on here for me. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the pulling and getting this thing out of here. Man, this is, this is one of those jobs, isn't it? Sheared this sucker right off. Man, that thing is on there, and I torched this for like a minute and a half. All right, stronger bolt, and she finally popped off. Also, don't lose that key right there. Now, we should be able to remove the old rope packing system. All right, the next step is to clean the prop shaft. This doesn't look like it has too much damage, but basically, you take your your seal, put it where it will install. We need to make sure that the area that this has the seal, which is like right about here. Well, this sank down a little bit, but this will be more like that. So the sealing area will be right about here where it's kind of dirty. So we're gonna be using just a strip of emery cloth and cleaning this up real quick. In an ideal world, this would be completely blemish free, but I can't feel these. So there's just a couple marks here and the ceiling surface is actually right here. So I think we're gonna be good. Now what we're gonna do is push the, the prop shaft back. We grab our seal here. It comes with an insulation tool. We're gonna take the seal. There should be a cardboard packing sleeve right there. You wanna remove that. You can see there is some goo on there already. I'm gonna put a little dish soap on this just to help lubricate it and slide it in and then once that gets wet none of that dish soap will stay there anyway i don't know if you've ever done this before but do that a little bit actually i think what we're going to do is we're going to take this installation tool and put it in here on the seals like so Looks like I need to loosen one of these first because they're facing the wrong direction. Make sure I got the key seated. 
just to try to get the coupler on. Line that up. Now, the cotter pin on this was an extreme bitch, so what I'm going to be using is just some uh, thread locker instead, because the cotter pin you can't access from the sides, so if this ever needs to get serviced again, you're just going to need to crank this out of there, and that's not really a big deal. All right, there she is, installed. Uh, overall, the install went pretty well. I will say that uh, the, the worst part was definitely getting the coupler to pop off the prop shaft. I will do some updates on this if we ever have any issues with it, but from what I've read online, this is going to be a super reliable solution and we shouldn't have to worry about this thing for quite a while. Till next time, dudes. Hopefully this video helps someone out. Boom.